In this first demonstration, I'd like to show you how to change AutoCAD's user interface so that it uh, is easier to work in 3D. Uh, the very first thing we're going to do is to click on the status bar, the 2D drafting and annotation workspace switching mechanism, and select from the menu 3D modeling. That will rebuild our ribbons at the top of the screen, as you can see, and now we have a lot of 3D tools at our disposal. The next thing I'm going to do is change the visual style uh, by selecting from the drop-down list on the view panel a visual style like conceptual. Uh, the difference between conceptual and realistic is realistic shows materials, uh, bitmap images and such. Uh, conceptual doesn't, really. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is to orbit upwards so I can show you that we do in fact have a 3D display here and if you look in the upper right hand corner you can now see the view cube and also the world coordinate system icon has changed to a solid looking uh, icon as well. Um, the next thing I'm going to do because it's easier when I can actually see a horizon which I don't have right now is to right click atop of the view cube and choose perspective now you'll notice the background color shifted slightly. When I orbit upward you can see that in fact I do now have a sky and a subtle but visible horizon line in the distance. The very next thing I'm going to do just to make my world space look a little more convincing for me is to uh, turn the grid on and to do that I'm going to left click on the grid button on the status bar that will turn the grid on so now you can see there is in fact a grid in my display I'll pan our orbit up a bit so you can see that and however I wanted to actually go beyond the limits and the limits of the drawing right now is what's controlling that upper right corner uh, this being the origin or zero zero and this is the upper uh, limit uh, in the X and Y direction for my drawing so I'm going to change the settings uh, by right clicking on the grid display left clicking on settings and checking the box that says display grid beyond limits. Click OK and now you can see my grid extends well beyond the area that it was in before. At any rate, um, I hope that helps. Uh, to some extent you be a little more comfortable with drawing objects in a 3D environment with AutoCAD and look for more tips to come.